welcome to another episode of mukase today we're going to be making an updated version of my okra soup without palm oil so this is what we're going to do i need you to get 20 stalks of okra or as many as you want and we're going to break them at the bottom like so to make sure they are fresh if you can find this you might want to use frozen okra but i prefer if you have this so you can enjoy the art of slicing them like this um so you could just slice them paper thin as possible and then go over them like so all right do not add the head of it to it just the uh, uh, okra stalk so go over it chop them up and you're going to repeat this for all the rest of the other stalks we're going to cover it with two cups of water and um, we'll do this as you know it goes on i want you to do the step and do it very carefully do not add too much water else your soup is not going to be slimy it's going to be very you know soupy which we are not going for i keep a bag of ademe or buma leaves at all times i think this leaf is kind of indigenous to ghana it also has a very slimy like nature to it so when you add it with the okra kind of complements it and it's very nutritious if you can't find this you might want to use another green leaf in order to make it you know more fortified i'm going to cook these together for about 20 minutes or until they're soft i'm going to make a soup base with smoked salmon this is some soft shell crabs some cured beef right we're going to cover it with one cup of water one tablespoon of red pepper some salt to taste and some maggi you will do this step for 20 minutes cover it and make sure like you get into it most of the stuff in here doesn't take long to cook so we're not going to overcook them the next step is if your okra and your ademe is ready you mix them up with the soup base what we want here is for the flavors to complement each other and mesh well you will correct the seasoning at this place you want to maybe add a little bit more salt taste it make sure it's going well from prepping to cooking should take you about 45 minutes to one hour let it sit for about 10 minutes on the fire and you are done so this is much more simpler this is much more healthier and you know much more flavorful if you know what i mean so yeah tag me in your photos when you do make this recipe at miss nana ashanti on instagram on Facebook, Nana Ashanti GH. I will catch you in my next video. Take care.